I think we're on. Yeah, yeah. I think, we, I think we're on, too. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's Patrick. Hey, it's Jeffrey. And um, we're back. We are back. Um, so, first we wanted to say, though, before we start the next um, bio video talk. review, bio, video, action, whatever. Talk. talk whatever yeah. It's called. This very high production quality. Yeah. Yeah. Putting Rose Google to shame here. <laughs> I know. Not so much. Um, but before we do that, we wanted to just say thank you to everybody for your positive comments. Yeah, thank you. And feedback. Um, we really had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. Yeah, watching the, the thread the grow video. and the yeah. video views. views. Right. Yeah. So um, we wanted to just say thanks. And um, Jeffrey got some questions the last time around, just basically, uh, or not some questions, but some feedback that they yeah. folks really appreciated your younger perspective. Yeah. Um, so if you do have questions, um, feel free to post them in the thread. Mm -hmm. and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah, because he's validated, baby. Yeah. Yeah, so he's waiting for his first post to be of this video. So he'll be posting this video in the thread. And if you have any questions for me or for Jeffrey, go ahead and post them, and, and he's going to be watching. So we yeah, will we'll get back. Cool. So for today, we're going to go right on to the next bio. Um, we did King Grayskull the last time around. So we're going to move right on to He-Man from the Masters of the Universe Classics line. Okay. So go ahead with that bio. Okay. Read loud. He-Man, a direct descendant of the legendary King Grayskull, Prince Adam of Eternia, was chosen to protect his ancestor's power sword from evil. At first, he used a techno vest with a built-in force field to fight evil, but Adam has since learned to, to combine both halves of the power sword, using it to channel the energy of the elders and become He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. He guards the safety of all Eternia along with the heroic masters of the universe. Okay, so... I have a lot to say about this bio, so I think in the essence of time, I'll have you start. Okay. So, just, you know, being a 2000X fan and having 2002 be your first intro into Masters of the Universe, mm -hmm. for you, what do, what do you think of when you think of He-Man's story? You know, what, what makes up the He-Man story for you? Uh, well, since, like you said, I was introduced to the 2002, the original and kind of default uh like story I go back to is the 2002 story, which is him getting this or shown the power sword on his birthday, and told that he has to protect Eternia from the evil, and him not really wanting to do that and rejecting it, and yeah. then that's kind of the default story I go to. But after talking to you more and more about this story and reading the stories on Heman.org, I've uh, this has also grown as a story in my mind too. Really, what this story all is about. Yep. Yeah, so what do you think, um, you know, it does reference He-Man is Adam, obviously, mm -hmm. in this. It doesn't say in this bio <laughs> yet if it's a secret identity or not. Nope. Um, and it doesn't reference the Techno Sword yet in this bio. Mm -mm. And uh, it talks about the two halves of the Power Sword, something I'm familiar with from the mini-comics, mm -hmm. um, and also the toys, because the toys, Skeletor came with half of a sword, and He-Man came with oh, half a sword. Okay. But actually, canon-wise... Filmation was my preference um, over them all, and that two halves wasn't actually part of that canon, oh, okay. if I recall correctly. Um, I think that was exclusive to the toy sort of feature in the mini comics. Okay. Um, so, what did you think about the, that idea of two halves to create a sword versus the Techno Sword? Because uh, you that makes sense. That's new for you. Well, yeah, it does make it does make sense, and that. The fact that I do like the idea of the two halves of the power sword because together they make the ultimate sword, even though there was a techno sword. Yeah. And that helped him, but the ultimate journey, even with the techno sword, was to get the two halves of the power sword so that he can have, so that he can have the power of the universe or, right in his hands. Yeah. So it didn't bother you. You no. liked the idea. You had seen the old toy swords. Yeah. So you knew there was two halves, but. Mm -hmm. um, but 2002 was your thing. Do you do you dislike the electronic power sword? Or no, the inclusion of that. I don't. I don't dislike it because I think I think it makes sense to have given him a sword to use while he's trying to get the two halves of the power sword. Gotcha. So basically, from what we've been told and what I understand, when 2002 was relaunched, you know Skeletor's tool dueling yeah. swords. That was the original power sword. Oh. It was going to be, oh. and then. Um, the canon was the poor horseman I believe proposed that Skeletor would have had both halves because that was always his attempts in the mini comics was to get both halves oh okay so the electronic power sword was the solution 
as Adam needed to get back the other two halves. Um, but um, needless to say, um, that was scrapped by okay. whomever. And so then it was just like the Skeletor dual sword just became a sword. Oh, okay. And the electronic power sword became the electronic power sword. So, that, that yeah. Sense. yeah. So it's kind of nice to see them bringing it back. And as we learned in later bios, the electronic power sword does rear its head. Yeah. And actually, that's not a problem for me. Mm-hmm. I don't mind the electronic power sword yeah. like you. I don't it like just, the idea of it. Yeah, it's fine. It's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, Makes sense that he would have something to use. Sure. Before he has the two halves of the power sword. Yeah. But, we don't know how old he is in this canon. Yeah. But with the two halves of the power sword, is each half like a sword that he can use? Or did it, together do they just make a sword? So we don't know. Okay. We don't know that yet. We yeah, just know we that the two halves were broken. You know, they were separated. Yep. Yeah. But no, we don't know that at this point yet either okay. in the bios. So we'll get to it when we get to the other bios. Okay. Um, what I don't like about this bio, or what I just think is confusing, is this whole techno vest with a built-in force field to fight evil. Adam fought evil with this techno vest, and we at the portal had done the Q&As with Mattel, and I was really hoping that that techno vest was Prince Adam's purple vest, oh, yeah. and he was Adam with a purple vest with a force field, mm-hmm. which made sense because Adam's a little weaker, yeah. a little smaller. That makes sense. You know, but um, it was found out, or Mattel answered, that the techno vest is actually the vest He-Man, they call that armor that He-Man wears, the techno vest. Mm-hmm. Just, to me, it's not a vest; it's armor. Mm-hmm. But they they indeed confirmed in a Q and A that that is the techno vest they're referring to. So even as He Man, who wants to wear the techno vest, is Adam. Yeah, but the He Man figure does not still have the techno vest. Well, on. right, yeah, yeah. So and if he was Adam and not He Man wearing the techno vest, how in heck is that a secret identity? Yeah, too. It looks exactly. Like it. So that's one piece to this puzzle. I still do not get to this day. Um, maybe it'll be ready to go Maybe, yeah. Because I don't know how it's a secret if Adam is running around with a techno sword. <laughs> with the techno vest. Techno vest, which is, at, which is He-Man's armor. And people don't know he's He-Man. Right. And it says here, at first he used a techno vest with a built-in force field to fight evil. So maybe he... But, but, but why wouldn't they mention the techno sword? If right. They mentioned the techno vest. I don't know. So maybe Scott can post, Toy Guru can post and give us some further explanation on that. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, so real quick, we have a couple more minutes. Let's just talk about the figure. Okay. So the Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man figure. Now this figure is a little bit of a mixture because I did a little bit of mix and matching of the pieces myself. I didn't paint anything. I'm not talented enough, but I did boil some water and I... I made a He-Man figure that's more in line with how I picture He-Man, which is the original He-Man head, um, release head, the original body, um, the Toys R Us techno vest armor. That, oh, that's the Toys R Us. Yeah. Um, and the Toys R Us boots. So if you boil these pieces, they pop off. <laughs> so I kind of did a little mix and match of my own. But I like it. Um, oh, and, and uh, mixed up here. And this is... This is pre-Eternia He-Man's forearm. So he has the matching small mm-hmm. wristbands because um, that's how it was in Filmation. Oh, okay. Um, so what did you think of the figure? I, I like the figure. I mean, uh, the original He-Man figure I was introduced to was the 2000 next figure, but I have seen the original He-Man figure and I do like the idea of the figures being a little like but like really simple yeah. instead of having all the little details added in. I do like the idea of having them be really simple. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't mind this? Oh, no, I, I like it. You like the articulation? Yeah, there's all, all this good articulation. Yeah, no, I loved it mm-hmm. when I saw this figure in the case when they sort of did the tease way back in the day. This oh, was yeah. the figure they kind of gauged oh. interest to see if this line could even work. Yeah. And fan response was huge. It was like this He-Man, much like uh, Pixel Dan post, uh, had said in Rose Google Dinner, it was like that was the He-Man, he had to have it. Mm-hmm. You know, I felt the same way, totally. And um, it's been fun to just make a couple little tweaks, but, you know, um, maybe now stuff. with the announcement of Filmation rights, they'll actually make a Filmation He-Man version, mm-hmm. which would be kind of cool too. Yeah. All right. Do we have anything else to say about the action figure of He-Man today? No. No. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Yeah, thank you. Please post some comments. Um, Subscribe to us at Twitter and follow us on YouTube. And, of course, here, Jeffrey will be posting this video up tonight. Tonight? Tonight. Okay. Um, And uh, 
Until the next one, good journey. Good journey.